The Hughes Aircraft Company was a major American aerospace and defense contractor founded in 1932 by Howard Hughes in Glendale, California as a division of Hughes Tool Company. Hughes Aircraft was acquired by General Motors from the Howard Hughes Medical Institute in 1985 and was put under the umbrella of Hughes Electronics, now known as DirecTV, until GM sold its assets to Raytheon in 1997. During World War II the company designed and built several prototype aircraft at Hughes Airport. Nobel laureates Richard Feynman and Murray Gell-Mann had Hughes connections, Feynman would hold weekly seminars at Hughes Research Laboratories, Gell-Mann shared an office with Malcolm Curry, later a chairman of the board and chief executive officer at Hughes Aircraft. In 1955, Howard Hughes split the helicopter production unit from the Hughes Aircraft Company and reconstituted it with Hughes Tool Company, calling it Hughes Tool Company's Aircraft Division. A Hughes executive and a Hughes lawyer claimed they had the right to set up an executive committee to take over the running of the HHMI and its Hughes Aircraft subsidiary. The Hughes XH-17 flying crane was the first helicopter project for the helicopter division of Hughes Aircraft Company. The XH-17, which had a two-bladed main rotor system with a diameter of 134 feet, still holds the world record for flying with the largest rotor system. It was capable of flying at a gross weight of more than 50,000 pounds, but proved too inefficient and cumbersome to be mass-produced beyond the prototype unit. The XH-17 was a heavy-lift rotorcraft that was designed to lift loads in excess of 15 metric tons. To speed construction, parts of the XH-17 were scavenged from other aircraft. The front wheels came from a North American B-25 Mitchell and the rear wheels from a Douglas C-54 Skymaster. The fuel tank was a bomb bay-mounted unit from a Boeing B-29 Superfortress. The cockpit was from a Waco CG-15 military glider and the tail rotor from a Sikorsky H-19 Chickasaw was used for yaw control. In the late 1940s, Hughes developed an interest in helicopters. In August 1947, helicopter manufacturer Kellett sold his design for the giant XH-17 Sky Crane to Hughes, who commissioned the development of the XH-17 Flying Crane Research Vehicle. The giant helicopter was tested in Culver City, California over a three-year period beginning in 1952. The XH-17 flew in 1953 at a gross weight in excess of 50,000 pounds. It still holds the record for flying with the world's largest rotor system. Only one unit was built, since the aircraft was too cumbersome and inefficient to warrant further development. Acquired, mostly due to friction in the main rotor bearing. Thus, the XH-17 had a very small tail rotor compared to its main rotor. This drive system was inefficient, limiting the test aircraft to a range of only 40 miles. The XH-28 was a derivative, with a maximum weight of 104,000 pounds. Though a wooden mock-up of the design was made, the program was cancelled and none were built. On December 31, 1985, General Motors merged Hughes Aircraft with its Delco Electronics unit to form Hughes Electronics Corporation, an independent subsidiary. The group then consisted of, Delco Electronics Corporation and Hughes Aircraft Company. The remaining companies remained under the Hughes Electronics name and within GM. In 2000, the Boeing company purchased three units within Hughes Electronics Institute, they decided to sell Hughes Aircraft. 1994, Hughes Electronics introduced DirecTV. 1995, Hughes Space and Communications Company became the world's biggest supplier of commercial satellites. 1995. Hughes Aircraft acquired CAE Link. CAE Link was part of the original company founded by Edwin Link, inventor of the flight simulator.